Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Frank Lepore Show, starring Frank Lepore, fe featuring Elk Tears. I'm Elk Tears. I'll be your host for this evening. It's true. He will be. We're going to do an alternating stipulation, alternating pick stipulation draft. Well, you want to you want to pick first, or should I pick first? Uh, you pick first. Or now I've watched a lot of your alternating pick uh, drafts. What if on the first pick? we come to a, a joint decision and then from there you pick first then i pick oh i like that all right let's do that that's a good idea because then we're starting from a a, a point of so like let's say like there's no power in like Calarian academy in the first pack and we have like a 12 angry men style dialogue in 50 seconds on why we should take that or something we kind of you know we have a, a somewhat of a direction whatever man whatever you want to do Unbelievable. Well, we don't have to do that. Why does he why does he act like this? Can I talk to you guys privately for a second in chat? Yeah, hold on, I'll mute. <laughs> <laughs> Is, are you still there? I'm still here. Okay. I I, I was hoping you'd you'd go away for a second. Look, I'm trying to I'm trying to have a moment here with the chat. <laughs> Sorry, earmuffs. Please earmuffs it for a second. I are, have my earplugs. Are you ready? Okay, you can come back now because we're gonna start. Hello? With... It's your grandmother. Can you see okay. This? Can you see this pack? I see the pack. Okay. I think it has to be. We we know. I it think is. I think collectively we could both agree it's Mox Emerald. Sure. Cyborg Huey, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, Billy. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I'm gonna take this Mox Emerald and put it right. I guess my here. idea doesn't really work. If there's power in the pack, because then it's just like. Well, no. Then what, th yeah, but then the we discussion? just start in the next one, right? Okay. Sure. We just postpone it one. All right. Unless there's power in this pack, too. And then it's like, well. And time walk. Now it's just awkward for everybody. Hmm. Yeah, so this one we can discuss. And we can discuss it in the context of already picking a mox. So, you know, if there's like a channel, I think channel gets stronger when Fingers you mox a channel pick. one time. That would be fun. And we just wait. Okay, Elk Tears should have said a card that wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, give him enough time. He'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> and then he'll be like, you can't see it? What's? Why can't you see the card? Are we Are we looking at the same draft? Okay, so... Huh. This is a pretty unexciting pack. I think I know uh, what I'm leaning towards, but... I feel like I'm leaning towards... Uh, Battle Sphere... High Tide, or just Arid Mesa. Really? I was leaning for Through the Breach. Oh, Through the Breach? Okay. I could see that. But... I kind of... I, I, yeah, I guess it's too early. I guess High Tide and Dark Ritual aren't exciting storm cards enough to jump into it, right? I, yeah, because like, I think you'll play this in any like any green deck or any, any deck where you have a card like this. Sure, let's go for Through the Breach. You want to do Through the I Breach? Like All right. Yeah. This will so be our... Get... You get the next pick. Okay, I'll do the first the first official pick. The first official pick. Wow, this pack is pretty insane. Oh, look at this. This is interesting, because I'm not super familiar with your... I know the decks you draft, but like I don't know the strategies like that you put into like the actual draft portion, so... I feel like we disagree on, on a few things. I do, I do, too, actually. Value. Yeah, I do, too. I like this treasure. There's a, very, uh, there's a very obvious pick in here for me right now, but... I feel like you... Is it opposition for you? It's not. Do you want me to tell you? Is it Scalding Tarn? It is Scalding Tarn. Really? I don't think... I I don't value fetch lands as highly as other people. I value them so highly. I just feel like I, I want later to take the in the draft, you just are so happy you got them. I want to take the opposition money. and hope the Bitter Blossom wheels. See, that seems, that seems a little too speculative. Well, that's what's happening, buddy. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> We have well, red card, blue card. We're hoping for black card to wheel and mox emerald. That's our. That's already, our. All, already, we're we're at odds. Um, I. I'm gonna take ponder here. That seems good. Uh, you know, you did good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't. Need, I don't need that attitude, buddy. Hey, listen. I'm just trying to make. I'm just trying to, to boost your self esteem. I know you have oh, self-esteem okay. issues. 
I'm going to take Metamorphose. How do you feel about that? I hey, that excites me a lot. Because it lets us cast our things easier, and it's just a, it's just a freebie. And also, you know I'm sneaking us into Storm, so there you go. That's so um, Let such, us... Such let, oh, God. Am I just going to get crucified for why I take Marsh Flats? I just, I love Fetch Lands, Scott. So the only, the only, my only opposition to Marsh Flats is that it's none of our colors right now. I know, I know, I know. But that's, but I mean, like, I would rather take Cloud Skitter or even Disallow. But, I mean, like, it's know, your pick. I know, I know. The, I'm leaning towards Marsh Flats or, Marsh Flats or Cloud Skate. Though I do like Disallow. I don't feel like you drag Eight seconds. Disallow Eight, seven seconds. Cloud Skate. Okay. Cloud Skate. That's my just, pick. You just got to be vigilant of the time here. Um, what'd you say to me? Uh, yeah, I have vigilance. Okay. <laughs> I don't tap to attack, idiot. Elk Tears has vigilance. I like Glorybringer here. Glorybringer is a card that's like I'm actually consistently impressed with it. Like every time I get it down, it takes out something good. It's hard I to like deal with. I think that's that's the pick here. All right, we did it. <sighs> I do really like Memory Jar. I like it a lot, but I'm gonna say Hollow Town. Oh, interesting. All right, because I feel is. like if you're if we're gonna try and do an opposition deck, you're gonna want some white cards eventually. Like what? And I just like Jeskai a lot. Well, I don't know Elspeth, white cards that make bodies. If you tap the lands down, Duretti makes some bodies. Wow. Um, Did you not like right, that Duretti pick? It seemed a little random, but what? but why he makes one ones for opposition. Okay. Well, now, but now we have to take, now we're in Grixis? It I mean, makes, like Grixis. You got five seconds, so. All right, sort of body of mine. Okay. <laughs> Just, let's, I mean, like, we can discuss, but make sure you're also hey, thinking of your listen, picks while we discuss. Buddy, yes. I don't remember when I asked for a lecture. Okay. Well, I can hang up on you. you <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, mo the moment where I ramble too much and we miss a pick, then you can start lecturing. But if I don't remind I you, we will. Uh, okay, I won't say anything, and then we'll see how free, how how uh, how quickly that happens. Um, Blade Splicer. Really? Yeah. Over Raging Ravine. Fascinating. We don't have a single green card. I want to stick to this opposition plan. I think you want white for that. Wow, that Legion's landing wasn't. Wait, what the? Wait, whoa! You took my pick. I didn't actually click anything. You well, you your pick was Pyroclasm. Correct, but then there were there should have been two cards in the pack. Legion's landing just jumped right in. I didn't no, actually we're gonna get another card right now. Right, but I didn't actually click on anything. Oh, oh my god, Vivian! Oh. Last week, Vivian. All right, this what? was hilarious. I think it's got to be uh, Black Lotus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 100% Black Lotus. Yeah, Maybe the Mox, the Mox could table. Maybe. Mm. If we were drafting with the Draft Boys, the Mox might table. Wow. <laughs> All right, your, your pick here. All right, we're going to put Vivian and Duretti and Legion's yeah, Landing. Get those out of there. We're going to put all these in the sideboard because I don't know what direction we're going other than blue-red. Oof. Oof. Time Twister. I really wanted to sabotage this draft. Oh, could you? Um, okay, here's here's my logic. There's nothing super exciting here. P and Karen Nalar is really good for opposition. I do like Venser. Mm -hmm. I like Watery Grave. Uh, but time. I, all right, I'm gonna say. I'm going to say Time Twister. Take Time Twister. Wow. You can yell at me later. Wow. There's a chance I just wasted a pick. Unbelievable. That was a good Venser, too. I'm going to take this Control Magic. I don't think there's anything else. Is that works. Voice Mic? I'm Ghost Mic now. You can't see me, but you can hear me. <laughs> Jesus. Mike has passed on. All right. This is my pick, right? Yes. There is a bargain. You mean a bargle? A bargain. A... 
I do really like Council Judgment, though. I feel like this is like the pivotal pick here with Director. Oh Ryan man, again. you're gonna go for a double white card? That's see, if we had the Raging Arena, we could not be white, and we could just add like Breeding Pool or Xenagos and be green, which I thought was good. Take bargain. Especially, are you serious right now? I'm serious. Do it. Oh boy, and that was when the then that oh was my when God, became... look look what we got. What turnabout? What does that do in our deck? It's still early, buddy. Oh my god! Uh, Look, we have we have so many great pieces for Storm already. You do you. Oh boy. Hey, you signed up for this. I don't know what you expected. Yeah, I don't either. I guess, boy. <laughs> uh, this, I'm leaning towards Metamorph here. I mean that's the safe pick. Well, we but have yeah, no fortune, we have no ritual. Fortune favors the bold. Now we get a ritual. Um, oh, there's a ritual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. How much are you gonna aim me if I try to draft storm? Is this like? Uh, I think we could do it. All right, take it. R ritual. Oh boy. And there's like See, now you can take Copper Line Gorge. What does that do now? That does nothing. If, if we get Heartbeat this spring. Wow. <laughs> That's very nice of you to let me take Copper Line Gorge in case we get Heartbeat of Spring. All right, well, what do you want to take in here? I mean, I would probably take Avenger of Zendikar in this pack, because, or, or Young Pyromancer because of Opposition. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I like that. That's also good with Storm. Um... Yeah, I would have went in a completely different direction here. Because, like, we would have two fixing lands for green. We could take Bloodbraid Elf, like. Okay. It's not over yet. Um, let's just take Bloodbraid Elf. We'll get fixing. Wasn't it Elk Tears to pick Nicol Bolas over the right land in the stream draft about three? That was, that's, that's great. What are we taking? Bloodbraid Elf? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't really see anything else in there. Relax and Sam, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. We really appreciate it. Welcome back. Look at all these storm cards. I'm gonna put this. Well, in the I kind of a storm card. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I guess it is. I guess it is. Uh, I'm gonna take. Leavold. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Leovol just in case we get in case we do play like Time Twister. Yeah, we got the combo. And you didn't want to. Uh oh, I like. Is it crazy? Take Pia and Kieran. No. For opposition. I mean, we're not black or white, definitively. Yeah, so. let's do it. Let's take Pete and Karen. Well, I was thinking over that or Sword or Neil, Neil Spires, but... I mean, black card, black card, black card, Sulfuric Vortex Angel. I guess we're just going to go with Assassin's Trophy? Well, no, what about Terminate? I think yeah, Terminate's, the Terminate's probably better. Yeah. Uh, I guess just Xenagos. Yeah, I think that's fine. Mm, Master's fine. I mean, we could leverage into a team or value deck here in Pack Green. <laughs> the signboard's pretty blurry. What what land do we have? What lands do we have yet? Do we have any lands? Do we have any lands? We have a Hollowed Fountain, a Stirring Wildwood, and a Mox Emerald. Okay. Um. Is this your pick or my pick? Uh, I think it's my pick because you took Black Lotus. Thank you. Uh, I kind of think it's Bayou. Yeah, I like Bayou. Yeah, let's just give us fixing for Leovold and uh, and for for Zenagoose. Zenagoose and Bloodbraid. Pyro oh, is bad into the warrants. Steam vents. I'm game. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Real yeah. tendrils. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's oh, take the Oh, God. There's out. brain freeze. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'll storm you for three. <laughs> Do you concede now? I mean, the turnabout didn't wheel. All right. Let's take uh, Spire Bluff Canal. Yeah, I like Spire Bluff, Spire Bluff Canal here. I don't like Spire Bluff Canal as a as a card, 
but I think it's fine here. I don't like any of these lands that come and play tapped after turn. No, I, I I don't like them either. They just make the me sad. Like I'm that. like, it's like I'll use it, but I I'm not gonna be happy about it. Yeah. Oh, lumbering falls or blood crypt. I kind of I kind of like blood crypts. I mean, one is pick. one is a red land that fixes our black. One is a blue land that fixes our green. Yeah, but it comes in tats. Yeah, I can. I'll take blood crypt. I think that's fine. Because I feel like we're gonna be hanging on to the green cards for a while, and you really want a fixer that comes in untapped. Uh, it's my pick, right? Yeah. God, should we? I, I really want to take Tiger, but should we be concerned about playables at this point? Uh, mm, I. Th we can actually. I mean, we can move Vivian to the main deck. Maybe. Uh, she doesn't seem great, actually. Ugh, there is Yogwill. Oh, I think Doretti's fine, too. I think it's Taiga. Let's, just, let's say Taiga. That's my pick. Oh, Lotus. Another Lotus. Ugh, <laughs> oh, God. We could have had a great Storm deck. What about Whisperwood Elemental? Is that too greedy? Um, A little bit. I think I like... Uh... This Treasure Cruise, does that not work for us? Maybe the chicken? I like the chicken. I think we I need, need another too. wind con. I think that's fine. I think we need another wind con here. This is fun. Can we do this again? We can do this forever until the end of time. How backed up is the is the stipulation? Uh... I only have like one or I only have one in the queue actually, and it's um it's a specific one. It's like deny your opponents all the land from Crutch Jr. So it's like, oh right. It's like it's not something you could just do randomly. Sure. Um. Is this my pick or yours? I can't remember. Uh, this is your. Uh, I took. I guess you took Rekindling Phoenix. I feel like they've been kind of like um, joint picks. We're like, yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. So that's true. I, I think it's just light up the stage here. Yeah, I kind of like light up the stage too. Is that weird? I know. I know. No, I think it's good. Deck, but. I, I don't think like you have to be. be. I feel like I've been kind of impressed with that card. Uh... <laughs> don't no, you're you're like I'm. I'm gonna make a ritual joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe incubation druid. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we also have enough green fixing to not have to worry about like. Yeah, I actually don't mind flame tongue kavu. No, I don't either. Card's good. It kills lots of relevant things. Oh, deranged Sherman. Yeah, that seems Beetle? pretty good. With opposition? Yeah. Forget about it. Lights out. Forget Feed about it. I think even PNLR is good here. All right. I think so, too. Every time Did I see you... a... Yeah, that's good. Every time I see a dual land, regardless of color, I'm always like, wow, how's that still here? How's Jit still here? People do not like that card. I, it's really weird. Uh-oh. Um, Rick's Mahdi Reveler. Look at that. Did you see that G Geist of St. Traff? That last pick, Geist of St. Traff, just popped Wait, right in. Did we not get the R Rick's Mahdi? I actually wanted the Edric there, but the the Geist of St. Traff actually just went right into my pack. Okay. That's weird. Wait, yeah. I'm so confused. Why? What? What's... There were like three cards. Yeah, there was there was Rick's Mahdi, uh, one other card, and Amiria. I just took the Amiri because I noticed my time was low. In our deck. Right, and like the the usually the last pick has been popping back, but I didn't even get a chance to click on the Edric. Like that thing just popped right that into the deck. So, I, I hate that they're doing this. I don't think that was intentional. Like I think that's probably just an accident of doing the first thing. Okay. Unfortunately, our through the breach is not very good here. Oh yeah, I guess we didn't really see anything. I don't remember passing like any Eldrazi's. We didn't, no, we didn't see any big fatties. I think, like, Avenger of Zendikar is the only, like, big guy we passed on. All right. <sighs> what are we at? 24? We need one cut? Yeah. Um, Hold on. Young, Incubation, Terminate, Metamorphose, Jit, or Flame. Making sure nothing is, like, unreasonable. Yeah, we didn't get any sne sneaky cards thrown in there. Yeah, no, everything looks playable here. This deck looks pretty, like, solid to me. I mean, it's not broken or anything, but... I think it came together. We got, right? Black, we got Black Lotus, so that kind of automatically makes any deck broken. And a Mox. Yeah. Send me your energy. I'm hungover today. It's funny. I've been trying to like look at my phone, which is leaned up against my computer, to look at chat, but you're so delayed in the in the screen that it's like I'm watching an old kung fu movie when wow. I hear your voice. So I'm, I'm just completely dubbed over. Yeah. Uh, do we? So we need one cut, or do we, do we play both both of these, or is that a flavor fail? 
No, it's a flavor win. Okay. That's a flavor win, Frank. Okay, I agree. All right. We, we, we have Pia, okay. Pia and Kieran, and then, and then w- Lady Widow Pia <laughs> after Kieran dies. Oh, After boy. Kieran Knightley dies. Oh, boy. How good is Young Pyromancer in our deck? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, huh? Six. We got six instants and sorceries. Uh, I don't think th- through the breaching progenitus is really that great because a it's not like Blightsteel Colossus or Emrakul where it kind of wins on the spot, and it also doesn't have annihilate, so it's not really going to have much impact. Well, it's it's so usually just they take it. ten. Yeah, through the breach uh, progenitus, just like here's a ten ball. Yeah, but then yeah. it's like okay, now what? I'm going to waste two cards to like you know burn. It's like, it's basically just having two basically, lava axes. Yeah, it's like you know. Um, I think it might be Young Pyromancer. Do we need a cut? Do yeah, we? It's 24. It's 24. Do we? How good is Chain Lightning? I mean, I think it's good to have. Okay. There's a lot of like relevant creatures that you want to just kill. Oh yeah, time to I, know, I feel like sure. I know we only have six, but I feel like Young Peasy could be like surprisingly do some work. I'm almost more inclined to cut. Uh, Because, like, our black fixing isn't great. We only have the blood crypt, right? And buy you. You cut terminate? I was thinking terminate. Yeah, I could see that. I like that it's just a. I know, it's just like a hard straight answer. Straight answer, yeah. I think that's fine, though. But control magic is kind of like that, too. Probably gonna add one swamp just for the hell of it in case they let us search. Path to exile or something. Uh, let's find out. One, two. Three, four, five. Yeah, that seems. That's true. Young Peasy can also carry a sword. So can his minions. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight red. Three, four, five. Five blue, eight red. Mm. Oh, we definitely want a time twister. Yeah. Did we cut time? No, we, we ain't no. cut it, right? No. no. Okay. Yeah. That's we're living the dream. Hmm. Mana base is a little rough. This is six blue, three, four. Maybe we just got a. F- yeah, I think we probably got a green actually. One, two, three. This is five green, which I think is fine up until you get to deranged tournament. We also have mana morphos. Yeah, I think this. I think, is our, ma- I think our mana. I think given the fact that we were doing the alternating picks, and I was. Um, Partially meme sabotaging with the uh, storm cards. I think the mana came out pretty pretty okay. I mean, I expect no less from you. So, <laughs> what is this wizardry? El Tears is the voice in Frank's head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically like Herman's head only. This is a Frank Laporte nervous breakdown stream where we realize that I'm a fictitious character living in his head. Do we keep this hand? Um, if you go back and watch the VODs of uh, the, the, the 15 hour stream you're actually not here it's just me talking to myself <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is like beautiful mind spoilers I think this um, hand is fine I think it's fine too are we on the play or the draw we're on the play Ooh. I like that better because we're going to be able to light up the stage and without much pressure I would assume I don't know Okay. Yeah. I think this is Let's, fine I think it's good desperately need a third land but Did you say, des- did you say desperately? Yeah. I don't know if we need that. I mean, like, we got three turns. Well, two turns. Well, this is one of them. We ain't getting signets. That's kind of a bummer. Okay. Okay. Next turn. Next turn is when the magic happens. Oh, boy. Fingers crossed. <sighs> that wasn't it. We're going we're gonna to pass the turn. Well, here comes Geist of Saint Traft. Ready? Oh, all right. That's just uh, no one cares about that. Well, that's that's Worm Coil next turn. Her card. That's all right. Jeez we can, Louise! I'm just gonna shoot them in the face. <laughs> Deal with that, buddy. I don't wow. think we're, I don't think we're dead. Got him. Jojo LeFou doesn't know what's going on here. That's his name. 
or their name. Sorry, I shouldn't gender label. Correct, correct. That is their name. Um, double blue, double green. That's not that impressive for, for all your strength. <laughs> you keep misquoting that. What? It's not for all your strength. It's with all your strength. It's. You have nothing to threaten me with. Nothing to do with all your strength. Is that true? Yeah. Oh my god, are you Googling it? Yeah. I think we're just going to play uh, PA here the next turn we can play yeah. at the stage. Yeah. Or if we draw blue, we can just go opposition, tap down Gideon, tap down Basalt Monolith. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like that you're you're correcting my quote of the Dark Knight. That's pretty good. Nothing well, to just, do with all your strength. Like doing that quote, and I was just like, it's not. And you just never... kept getting more tr more and more triggered each time. Yeah, every, you said it like five times. It's like just... it's not for all your strength. Well, it's almost like if I said it wrong once, that I, I wouldn't uh, magically remember what it was after that. So I feel like if it's if I said it wrong once, it's a given that I'm going to say it wrong for the duration. Of that stream until I gets corrected. Oh, good. Uh, Karn liberated to get our Steam vents. That's nice. I'm sorry. What? I wasn't paying attention. Wait, what did they do? What did they get? What happened? Oh, nothing. Okay. okay. No. Slow your roll. Just a range tournament, right? Yeah. We're pretty far off from casting that sucker. Come on, by you. It's fine. We can tap their Karn down. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Beat that's that. True. Oh, that would have been good if we had a land here. So they have yeah. two planeswalkers, huh? Hmm, fascinating. Yeah, but we have two creatures. They don't have any. That's actually a really good point. I hadn't even considered that. Let's. Well, the spectacle has to be a at their face. Deal damage to player, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just I guess checking. that doesn't do anything. We'll just go to Gideon here. Man, I almost like Dread War better than uh. And terminate the cube. Yeah, I, I never too. thought I would have said that, but I just feel like you just have a harder time dealing with planeswalkers in the cube. It's actually pretty good. Hey, there we go. And then we're gonna draw a green next turn, and then we're gonna blood braid elf into time twister. Okay, I don't know if that's great for us. I After almost rather there's got to be a better card to blood braid into, right? Wow, double Gideons. Dubs Gidgeons. Oh my god. Wow, they just plussed Gideon? That's interesting. That's weird. I would have probably exiled the Pia. Yeah. Well, maybe they'll do that with Karn. What are we, what are we getting rid of here? We can cast Control Magic or Opposition. I think Xenagos. Really? Right? Xenagos puts guys on the board. It's probably better All than... Alright, blood, blood, blood braid. No, I think you might be blood, right. Blood. We don't have a green either way, so it's definitely one of these... It's one of those two. I just feel like we play Xenagos, maybe get one guy, and then he exiles it. Are they just going to restart the game? That's pretty scary. It is scary. Do they see that next turn? Oh, man, they do. Jesus. At what point do you scoop? I feel like I feel like you scoop to a, to a, a restart. restart the game. Yeah, you They're going right. to Xenagos and Deranged Hermit in play. I wish we could cast control magic at instant speed. I wish we can cast it on planeswalkers. Yeah, I really wish that control magic was uh, in balls as clutches. And it, that it costs four mana. What are they doing? Let's go. Just and attack. And flash. And yes. <laughs> I wish it was just. Uh... I, w I wish. I wish we uh, were winning the game handily right now. Handily, right? This is a this is a, this is a wish stream. You said handedly. What did I say? Handedly. I didn't say that. Okay. We can go to the videotape. It's fine. All right. Somebody clip it. Did I say handedly? I heard handedly. Hand I heard hand sandwich. Diddly. I feel like us not hitting our lands for two turns really really put us on the back foot here. 
It did. They also had basalt monolith into shenanigans. Look what we did. Hey, that's basically like drawing a forest. So how do we not die here? We all have to attack Gideon. Hmm. Is there Wait, any... did they not do anything with their card? No, they upticked it and we exiled Xenagos, remember? Oh my god, they're taking forever over there. I, I, I know. Ago. I can see why you get tilted by the, the long turns. Um, what are we doing? I mean, we just have to Bloodbraid Elf and hit something. I mean, there's nothing we can do otherwise. We can't yeah. kill Gideon and they're just going to restart the game with Karn, so. Yeah. Do we have Bedevil in our deck? Sword doesn't really do anything, right? Didn't no, we, get... we we had a chance to take the devil and we didn't. Hmm. What do we get? I don't know yet. Are you not watching anymore? Did you stop watching? I, I'm still Time watching. Twister. <laughs> Did we get Time Twister? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Unfortunately, Leovold is not in play, though. What if we, we, we could draw Chain Lightning and kill their Karn? We did! What? <laughs> Still alive, boys! Gas. That's gas. And we can play a land, too. I played the wrong land. We should have... Oh, actually, no. I can just Manamorphose into the... Into Ponder Chain Lightning here. Wait. Uh. Okay, yeah. You okay with that? Good. Yeah, I'm good. I was just wondering if equipping with Sword did anything, but I guess... Not. No, because you have to Chain Lightning here. Otherwise, Karn restarts the game. Right, 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 right. Uh, we're going to red, blue, Jitte. And we're still not we're still not in great shape. Can't they just attack with both Gideons next turn and kill us? I mean, with that attitude, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll shut up. They won't see the line. Yeah, you're probably right. Three, four, five, six... Shoot no, because that's what the one Gideon's a four four and the other one's a six six. Oh, yeah, we're gonna, well, we're gonna scoop stupid. here. Oh man, everything had to go. We had to hit time twister into chain lightning just to prevent them from 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 carning. But then they had a million dudes anyway. Mono Gideon's dot deck. Wait, what happened? Did you just concede? Yeah, because we're we're not gonna win. Like we. What if they didn't see the line? I mean, I mean he upticked the Gideon when he first played it. Bro, I heard you like Gideons. Four plus six equals ten, confirmed. Do we take out Forest Island to put in these these two lands and then bring in Disenchant? <laughs> For what? Basalt monolith? Yeah, bro. That seems dumb. It's almost as if I was just kidding. Hmm. I think we uh, bring in Bargain. Are you being for real? No. Okay. Um, but I'm wondering <laughs> if... Uh... Cut to ready for Terminate? Why would we do that, though? Yeah, like, Terminate seems... Terminate doesn't kill like any of the creatures we game. saw. What about uh, what about bringing the White Lands and putting uh, Geist of St. Trap in? I was considering that. Because that seems like an efficient way to deal with Planeswalkers. I mean, Blade Splicer is also not terrible if we're doing that. I mean, also, those are two really good cards with opposition. The problem is, like, what are we doing with our... What are we doing with our mana? Well, we're putting in two... We, we replace one forest with uh, Wildwood, and we replace one island with Hollowed Fountain. Right, but then we have two white sources for, like, a turn three Geist of St. Draft. It's pretty rough. Oh, well, then we we could we could ditch uh, our black cards. Hmm. Do we have time? Do we really have time to uh, leave old time twister in this matchup? I mean, maybe. Like theoretically, they could have just got a very aggressive. Like they have they play. It is true, and we also just missed a bunch of land drops. Right. I, think I mean, we're also fine just rolling it back. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. I think I think our hand was a little iffy to begin with, and we just got we broke dumb lands two turns in a row. All right, uh, let's play first. Yeah, this seems good. Oh yeah, I like this. This is a snapperino. That cloud skate. He bounced planeswalkers. He attacks planeswalkers. What was the first one you said? Planeswalkers. Nah, that's not what you said though. 
I, I heard. Hang on, I'm, hang on, I'm going into a tunnel. Okay. <laughs> I'm going. You go. You're going under the tunnel, right? I'm going under a tunnel. Hold on. Do you go under them? Wow, that seems like a lot of work. I'm going under a tunnel, and then after that, I'm going in the tunnel. So you might lose me for a good couple minutes. A good, a good couple minutes. A good couple minutes. Well, I'll be. Swamp. Okay, we're on. We're on course to draw Leovold or to play Leovold next turn. Oh God! Come on, Green Mana. Give us a. Give us a. Mox Emerald into Time Twister. Yeah, this swamp is really. Uh, this is really throwing me for a loop here. Yeah, what's going on? Well, they played double Gideon in game one. Now they don't have a single white source. What's happening? I don't know. I'm confused oh, and so scared. Close. Oh, lame. That's lame. I think just play Sword. Yeah. I, I don't ever like playing Light of the Stage when I've already played a land. Little known fact, Elkseus is working on a stage adaptation of Sylvester Stallone's classic Daylight. False. But that's a cool throwback reference. I feel like that movie was a major box office flop. I don't even remember that movie, so yeah, probably. It was Sylvester Stallone. He's like a cop or a bus driver or a the mayor or something and no you're thinking of uh pump it up that was when he was a truck driver and he uh, gets stuck in a tunnel and he has to help a bunch of people and uh we did it just so you know oh sick well we're gonna zichi i'm good okay we're gonna we're gonna play it with the correct mana nyc is very hot very humid I'm sitting uh, next to an open window right now. There's a cool breeze. It's pronounced Humid. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. Yeah, we got a 5-5 five, five Leovold with a sword. We have a Riftwing Cloudscape coming down, and then we get to at least light up the stage, if nothing else, next turn. For one you mana, presumably. Time to off that light the stage, too. Oh, God, that would be such gas, dude. Over the top was the truck one. That's right. I said, what did I say? Pump it up? What you is said that pump like? it up. That's that got to be a dance ridiculous. movie, right? Pump It Up was the name of Jane Fonda's fitness tape. <laughs> Apple just announced a $1,000 monitor stand just to stand. A monitor stand? Come on. Just stop it, Apple. I mean, Apple's awesome, though. So here's the question. Do we bounce the Maze of Ith or the Basalt Monolith? Wait, I think Maze of Ith, right? I think so, too. Because that's, we want to get, I feel like most of our turn revolves around getting a Leobold hidden. Well, like getting any hidden really is fine. Well, Push yeah. it to the limit. But they're obviously going to, I guess I meant to say getting a sword Oh, hidden. wow. They're just taking seven and milling ten? Yikes. I like that. All right, so we hit a Gideon Jura, a Dig Through Time, an Ugin. They have Ugin and Karn in their deck, and that's pretty nice. Yikes. Those are some good hits. All right, tap red. Let's light it up. Spectacle. Sp oh, wow, two lands. Well, I mean, I don't hate it because now we're not drawing them, but... Yeah, there you go. I don't hey. even think we play PNLR here. No, because I, I feel like this deck could probably have Wraths, given how it's mostly Planeswalkers. And, and, and card drawing, yeah, I agree. I mean, there wasn't a single creature in those 10 cards, and there wasn't a single creature last game. For a thousand dollars, I could just pay someone to hold my laptop in front of me. This is where they like. What are they doing here? Is this? Is this going to be? Turn is this? It's third. It's, it's the end of our turn. Yeah. End of our turn. What are they doing? I don't know, man. I'm wondering that myself. You know what? They're probably streaming with their friend too. Who's oh, so it's just yeah. It. It's just taking. It's, it takes a while for everybody. It's taking a while. The friends being like, you should just scoop here, dude. Aggressive. I don't know, like that. Aggressive. What's I the worst you get? I mean, like, maybe Karn and Exile the Sword? Or a Wrath. Yeah. what are you going to do? Wrath would be bad. They had Lotus Bloom suspended? I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Oh, wow. Pay hey, attention, buddy. That was the first thing I noticed. Was it? <laughs> yeah, I noticed that before I noticed what our opening hand was. Uh, well, they suspended it last turn, so I don't feel like that's accurate. I mean, 
with that attitude, sure. Chad, can you hear me okay? I'm I backed a little away from my computer. Let me know if I'm still coming through okay. Is he coming through okay? It's lit. Come through okay, it's lit. Like that's what the kids say, right? Wow, they just got they vampiric tutored for something, then didn't play anything. Huh. I oh huh. good another. That was a good that was a good hit there. Huh. I guess I'll just play this. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um <laughs> Huh. I'm going to move this over to this wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Put on the most innocuous creature. Yeah, that's what I did. Man, I wish you could uh, equip swords at instant speed. I wish swords were like skull clamp. Or uh, not skull clamp, cranial plating. Pretty much the same card name. It's basically the same exact thing. That all has to do with the skull and the head area, right? Cranials yeah. and skulls. Clamps and plating. Yeah, that's exactly right. And then you get to amass your head. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear that? Yeah, did you fart? Was that a little fart? No, there was like a little like car accident that happened. Uh, it just happened? Oh yeah. my god, every time they every time they maze of it, we draw a card from Leovold. Oh! <laughs> that's gas. I totally forgot, man. Oh, that's that wonderful. That's just that's wonderful. Funny. I still don't I mean, want to. I think, it's, I think it's still is correct to uh, bounce oh, yeah, the for maze sure. with last turn, but that's still pretty funny. Yeah, we got an extra two two, and we milled them for ten. So what do we? I don't know if we want to like. Do you think they got a wrath, and then they just they're hoping for another white source? Oh, maybe. I still don't think we play anything else. My concern is if we play something else, it's a two turn clock, or it's it, we, we like it's a one, it's a one turn clock, right? I'm going to throw out Young Peasy because I don't think he does anything. And I'd okay. rather if they don't have... Because the turn after that, they're going to Lotus Bloom. So I'd rather just try to win next turn and see what happens. I, hey, I'm for it. This is this is Frank Lepore's world. We're all just living in it. Maybe that's true. That's crazy you could hear that thing from... That happened like... A block away, I see it from my backyard. A little well, fender bit. You know, maybe if your car accident weren't so loud. Hey, it's New York! I'm walking here! Forget about it! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad you guys have internet in New York. That's pretty sweet. I thought it would be uh, yeah. cost prohibitive, but no, it looks like you guys can get it pretty easily, so that's good. I don't, you know, it was either internet or plumbing. Hmm, I see. Hmm. And I was just like, well, I can't, I can't face time with someone in my toilet. So. Is it possible that you get the internet and someone else gets the plumbing so that you can each choose, so you can have both? Okay. Or is it like a per house thing? Listen, buddy, this isn't like Candyland, okay? We're not playing a board game here. Okay, well, take... oh, balance. All right. Oh, you think that would, that's what they tutored for? One, two, well, three, that's four, dumb. five. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is, that is dumb. One, two, three, four. Click done Does to see. balance effect the uh, artifacts, do you? No. It's creatures, okay. lands, and cards in hand. Right, right, right. My biggest issue is having to get rid of Leobold here. Yeah, that sucks. I almost wish I could give them a creature. Quick, throw Pia at them. You can have both of these. <laughs> I mean, Leovold did some work. I think we just gotta accept this. Sacrifice all creatures you control. Done? Yeah, I guess I'm done. Sure. <laughs> I guess so. Whatever. We're, we're untapping putting two more bodies on the board. Well, that depends. Maybe we'll draw like a Bloodbraid Elf or Xenagos or something, which is pretty good. I will say Time Twister is a pretty bad draw now. You think so? Well, I want to give them. Well, now it's getting better. Oh, they go to they go to four. Wow. Oh, what? That's nuts. That's a that's aggressive. Wait, you can't. What is Pia? Oh, that's the other one that. Oh. Uh... I know. I was like, oh, oh, it was a real emotional roller coaster there. <laughs> I was. 
I like that we could play a creature that puts two bodies on the board for the Maze of Ith to deal with. Push it to the limit. I wish Maze of Ith was blue or green. That'd be great. So this P can pump, right? That's what this one does. Sorry I keep asking questions. It is kind of blurry on my end a little bit, so I can't it's, see the... It shouldn't be. It should be crystal clear, my man. You're just okay. being ridiculous. Okay. I'm highlighting this Pia for you so you can take a game. Okay. Okay. That's good, because that means we could put the sword on Pia and then still be able to pump the Thopter. I mean, we have two artifacts to sacrifice, which makes it a three, but... Wait, What? The sacrifice it's... artifacts is just keeping it from blocking, right? Oh, keeping... no. Yeah, you're right, actually. So the pump is... Yeah, you don't have to sack a pump. Never mind. No, pump is just the uh, paying. Oh, so we can move the sword over here, and then they have to choose whether they want to, want to yeah, die. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what he's... <laughs> Guys, that's what... He does he have double fighting. white. I don't now, like though. my mom and dad fight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If Pia can pump the thopter, your sword is better on her. But whatever. I mean, they do have double white now and double black and double blue. So it's they basically and have everything. Blast zone. That's annoying. Wait, blast zone can't kill tokens though, right? No, they'd have to remove counters on it. Yeah. I mean, they could put it on three, which kills sword and PNLR. It also kills their basalt monolith, but they don't have enough mana to do that. Though. Well, they can't. You can't do it in the same turn because both abilities require tapping. So yeah. What they could do is push it to the limit. Push it to you mean pump it up? Yeah, I do. They could pump it, pump it up to the they, limit as well. They could pump it up and drive the truck in the tunnel. Walking the tunnel. on the razor's edge. Remember that jam? Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna pump it up on the stopter next turn. I'm also waiting for a UPS delivery that I have to sign for, unfortunately. So, so I'll have to get up and take care of that at some point, but. This is where they just take forever and try to figure out the line. What's the line? What's the line? Spellseeker. All right. Well, that's a boring Ooh, one. Oh, I don't like that. What's, what's, what is he speaking? Time walk? Well, if they time walked, they'd have to use Lotus Bloom. Imperial Seal. What? You're at four. Oh, weird. What the hell? This is all very strange. Yeah. The opponent's making me nervous. This is all making me uncomfortable. So if we move sword on Pia, they can't block it with this. Or like neither of our creatures are blockable, and they can only maze one thing. So that seems good. Okay, they're Lotus blooming for blue. Playing Jace Bellerin. Okay, well we're gonna go to game three, I guess. Yeah, what is going on here? I don't know. I mean, technically they have. No, they're dead. They have only colorless mana, and they have maze. Yeah, they can't do anything. There's nothing they can do with colorless mana. Maybe they have spatial contortion? Hmm, metamorph. Does that do anything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're one mana shy, though. No, we're not. I think we're good. No, play. Yeah, that's three pumps. Yeah. Imperial Seal might have just been the last thing uh, they had in their deck. Uh, making a sword and equipping cost five, and that's too much mana, unfortunately. So we wouldn't actually kill them. Are they just banking on us not seeing the line here? I mean, I don't know what kind of colorless card they would have here. Spatial contortion? That's in the cube, right? No, actually, make a sword equip works, right? Because we can go one, two, three, we'd make a sword, we'd equip it for two more, and then we'd still have a pump for one, so they'd both be four. Hey, we won the game. That's because we're really good at this game. I don't want to break it to you, but... What if Pyroclasm dealt two damage to all creatures and Planeswalkers? That'd be pretty sick, right? That'd be I... pretty cool. Like a mini uh, hour of devastation? Yeah, like kind of like a... Right. Or like a... Like Sulfuric... What was the other one? Uh... Sulfuric Blast? Was that what it was? The, like, It's four damage, but it deals three damage to all players and creatures. Uh, I remember that one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Those are the good old days. We could take the red out and add white instead. 
No, just kidding. Well, I can't now do that. you want to do that? Um, I feel like the more the more we play, like I feel like Geist is actually very very good against them. It really is, right? Yeah, Where I'm I don't think Chain out... Lightning is super good. I'm gonna add Geist. Um. Let's. Oh god, Leovold is really sick though. I don't want to get rid of Leovold, especially when they have the balance. I feel like Leovold can help us mitigate some of that nonsense. Yeah. Just oh, I didn't even know we had that Vivian. That's weird. Yeah, but we only have like thirteen creatures, so she's not. Yeah, like... no, I don't think it's that good here. I just didn't even realize we had that. Do we just want to play one? Maybe like cut the swamp for a plains. Yeah, because then we have Blood Crypt I mean, Bayou, uh, and then we have Hollowed Fountain, Stirring Water. Like we just have one of each card. We have one black and one white card. Yeah, now. and we have Manamorphose too. I yeah. like it. Leovold, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Static Suicide, thank you so much for the resub. Didn't see those guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Elk Tears, hang on, I'm going under a. <laughs> hey, buddy, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Hello? Hang on, I'm going under a tunnel. Hello? Right, an opening hand. Come on, one time, Let's Lotus. See it. Lotus Mox Land Opposition. Opponent Scoops. I don't know if that's good enough. If we just go turn one Glorybringer, does that just... I mean, is that good enough a lot of times, you think? I mean, do they have any spot removal in any of those games? This hand looks actually only... looks pretty good. Oh, this hand looks good. Yeah, I like this hand a lot. This hand enables us to cast everything. Oh, we can Pyromancer and Manamorphos to hit a third land, too, if we want to. Ooh, that's true. And then maybe we hit Leovold, so we can just play it. That'd be amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, my nipples are getting hard. <sighs> okay, let's take this. <laughs> getting hard. Unbelievable. My nipples have been hard for 35 years. Oh my god, that, like I like Swamp Main Phase 1, Imperial Seal Main Phase 2. Like, <laughs> I never understand it. They're like, let's go to my second Main Phase. All right, I'll cast oh, Imperial play... Seal. Imagine doing that in Paper Magic. Yeah, you're like, uh, go to combat. Okay, go to second main. All right, I'll cast this. And you're like, <laughs> why did we do all that? I assume it was a situation where they're like, oh, wait, this is a sorcery. Oh, that's a good right. draw. Oh, I like that a lot. That's going to be fun for next turn. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to have a good time. Rakdos Signet. Blah. Oh, look at that. We're doing, we're doing everything here. Wow, we're really good at this. I don't want to brag. But... I, I feel like it has to be Druid into uh... into any one of our four drops. I like Xenagos here actually because it uh, doesn't die to balance. So I do too. I also don't like Blood Braid when our hands pretty stacked and we don't want to hit Time Twister. Why do we main Phase One, Master Bruce? <laughs> so that we can play Imperial Seal in main Phase Two. <laughs> I'm not gonna bury another <laughs> Batman. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that's the quote. <laughs> Do an air. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Wow, they're really going ham here. Well, we're not going to blood braid elf into that. So, oh well, now we could. Yeah, I still like. I think I think your gut was right on some, I guess. Well, because if they go, if they go, Karn, well, it would have been sick if we blood braided into Leovold and then time to the next turn. Oh, that but... would. Be... If they go, see if they go Karn, get rid of Xenagos, then we can just blood braid elf and attack the Karn and kill it, which is That's nice. true. Also, this gives us a bunch of mana next turn with Xenagos, so. That's true. Push it to I feel the good limit. About it. Do you? Josh, yes, thank you. <laughs> I do two good impressions Gilbert Gottfried and. Uh, oh, your Michael Gilbert Gottfried is insane. Why do we fall, Master Bruce? <laughs> I'm riding my horse. I'm not even on the saddle. The horse is going way too fast. Kerplop on the ground, mud all over my face. Why? Why did it happen? So I can learn to pick myself back up. Okay, that's <laughs> that's very good. 
Is that voice a bit? Like, is that his real voice or is that just uh, a? Oh, that's like, a, yeah. He's a character. There's like there's interviews of him where he, he's talking. He's just talking. Oh, oh, look, they did have the Karn. Oh, we just exile uh, a card from our hand. Oh, that doesn't seem good. One, two, three, four. We can only deal seven to it. I think we just got a pyromancer here. Yeah. They only have two cards in hand. Hmm. I'm feeling good about this. I think we can survive this card. I'm feeling 22, as Taylor Swift would say. Okay. Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> it's... <laughs> know, know your demo. Wow. How dare you? Demo is short for demographic. In the oh, world. I thought it was like my demo tape. That's great, man. Really pre appreciate it. All right, here we go. Oh, Chain Lightning. Did we take that out? We kept Chain Lightning, right? Yeah, I kept it. Bleh. What if it was? What if we went Bloodbraid Elf into the Geist of Saint Trap? That'd be gas, right? Oh, that would be sick. Six cards entered the exile zone. Only one leaves. <laughs> Opposition Glorbringer, Flame Tongue, Rekindling Phoenix. Those are all pretty good hits. Those are. What's going I just, on here? I just want to resolve my Ponda. What's going on here? Are they going to, like, counter the Ponder? Are they going like, to Manta it? Well, we want to hit a land drop here. But I, I kind of like we... Island Light at the stage Pia. In that order? Yeah, right? We're going to be able to do Spectacle. Next turn. Yeah. yeah the, right. the, the turn that we're drawing Light at the stage. Oh, hold on one I second. Let me go get this. Let me go, let me go, okay. let me go sign for this. Here, I'll, I'll keep everyone entertained. Don't worry. Hunter, come here. Hunter. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Come here. Well, it's just you and us now, chat. We're alone, finally. And if it's all right with you, I'd like to take this moment to talk to you about the Church of Scientology. Now, hear me out. I know that's kind of a alarming, triggering thing to say, but... Uh, Shh, I want to hear what Hunter has to say. Is Hunter... I can't see the video. I can't actually see Frank's webcam. Can we see Hunter? F. Mary kill the Mario brothers? Okay, well, I would obviously... I would F. Mario, because he... He just seems like he would be a, an appreciative lover. Um, okay. I would marry... Luigi, because I feel like we have okay. the most in common. We're both very tall. We're both and, very tall. And I don't... Uh, who's the third Mario brother? Toadstool? Frank, F. Mary kill the Mario brothers. Fop one. <laughs> I don't think there's a third one. Oh, Wario and Waluigi. Well, that's four then, right? Yeah, I guess uh, I guess uh, it's going to have to be a three out of one of them. That seems not okay. <laughs> What's going on? Is this Karn dead yet? I'm trying to attack, and he's like, oh, I, I don't want to go there yet. <laughs> Hang on. I might have another Imperial skill to cast. Hold on. Before you attack me, I'm going under a tunnel. All That's right, really well. annoying. We can only do, take him to. Three. I agree because then they can they can go exile Xenagos and then play balance and then it's all downhill. Yeah. Especially because they'll have one card in hand and then we'll have to discard. Four hands still pretty stacked, but yeah. If I mean, if they just have Karn balance, like it's pretty rough. No, sure. I'm not gonna argue with that. Don't. Okay, can you stop so arguing beat, with it, please? We did beat balance last game. Handedly. Buddy, I'm feeling 22 Handedly. right now. Hand handedly, handedly, H handedly, handedly. <laughs> My roommate just texted me. What the hell is going on in there? Target player exiles a card. All right, they're making a sex solid card again. Oh, okay. Um, well, we're keeping yeah, Twister. Man. One, two, three, four, five. Hang man, Amorphos, right? What do we need that for? At this point. Well, it's just a free card, though. Yeah, but so is one of the other cards in our hand. I guess that's true. 
Well, you're gonna get you're gonna get rid of Jit, keep Manamorphose, and and draw an island off of it. Well, if the top card is at any point better than the card we're get rid- getting rid of, it's just better, right? Like, I mean, sure, sure. I just think we have three very powerful cards. In our- Journey to Nowhere. Granted, Jit maybe isn't amazing in this matchup. I guess there was an argument for that. This is all very good. I'm all okay with what he's doing here. Hmm. Whoop whoop. I wish we had enough mana to uh oh wait, can we can we make mana to adapt the druid Three, and then swing four, five, six, seven. we can actually, yeah. Is that is that good? Yeah, because we can still light up the stage after that. Can we? Yeah, because it's gonna No, we can't. Well, wait. Yeah, we can. This is going to make three, four... No, we can't. I just made that up. That was a lie. I told you. Why are you lying to me, dude? Nah, I don't want to... Nah, Wait. Know. Yeah, no, we can't. Yeah. What we should have done was played PN Karen Alar, and then Xenoghost for five. Would that have given us enough to... I don't think that would have given us enough still. For what? We pay PN Karen Alar, that's four. This puts three bodies on the board. Xenoghost makes six mana. This costs five. Oh, uh, yeah. But now we have two left over, which is... Yeah, but then we still need five to adapt Druid. Yeah, Xenagos gives you six mana. You adapt with that mana. Sure, sure, sure. It would have been a better play. It still wouldn't have let us light at the stage. But you're No, right. but that I mean, we got a body on the board. We would have gotten P and Kira for free, essentially. Correct. Whereas now we're just playing Jitte. Also, hey, if they kill this, it's going to be real sad. If their last card is like, hey, kill it, I'll be real sad. But apparently it's not. What are the chances? I don't think they're... I think it's actually. I think the chances are actually low. I think the chances are pretty low, especially since they did Journey to Nowhere last turn. Like, I don't see them having two spot removals. Bye, Karn. Oh, they're gonna counter this Jitte. Is this your are last they? card? No, they're just untapping their assault model. I was like, uh, what? <laughs> what? Killing Karn, the uh, prequel to the hit show Killing Eve. Yeah, clearly. Everybody's heard, everybody's heard of that. Lefof is very confused. Wait, you can light up the stage, can't you? Oh, killing Karn. Yeah, it's like Breaking Bad, only, you know, it's different. Wow, that seems very That's, impressive. That, uh, yeah, that Breaking Bad intro is so iconic. Bow, yeah, that noise is just so bow, recognizable. Bow, bow. So I guess we just make a dude. Let's make a dude. Let's dude, kill Gideon. Seven. We can make 10 mana this turn. Well, we're definitely not time twistering it up until the point where we get a Leovold out, so... Who the hell said that? Don't do that. We They have no cards and they just ran out of Gideon? With no way to protect it. That's, That's so weird. That's really intriguing to Wait, me. Wait, is that... I, I forget. How, does that Gideon have some weird claws on it, like prevent damage or something? No. You can just... You, it's just a Planeswalker, no man. Well, I know, but doesn't doesn't it have some? What's the what's the? I know. Clause? What's the prevent damage clause that that Gideon has? As long as it's your turn, it's a four four soldier with indestructible. That's still a planeswalker. Like it's it's only indestructible on your turn. Prevent all Gideons are never going to prevent all damage. The second part of it that would be dealt prevent to Gideon Blackblade during your turn. You, during your turn, bro. Yeah, there's okay. not going to be a planeswalker that you can't deal damage to on your opponent's turn. Like that's just insane. That card's not going to exist. Dude, these Modern Horizon spoilers look pretty crazy. You never no, know. No, none of them look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually you never know. <laughs> that set's actually pretty reasonable. I'm excited. Should I do pre-release this weekend? I really will likely be doing pre-release this weekend. It's $35 to do a draft. Well, yeah, but I mean that seems pretty steep, right? I mean, for a for a small town kid living in New York. I know, that's pretty much my plumbing bill. You don't have plumbing, you have internet. That's pretty much my internet bill. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling pretty good about this first round. I think we've won, so... I think the only thing we... Uh, I think our deck's cool. I think we lost uh, Missing Land Drops game one. Oh, we 100% did. We missed like three Land Drops. It sounds... It's, you know, it's something special that we were able to survive balance and... Uh, we didn't equip because we're infinitely far ahead, and I'd rather light up the stage and make sure we have as much mana as possible after we light up the stage. Yeah. Also, yeah, it doesn't really do anything. Right, it doesn't do anything because we're so far ahead, right? Like, I mean, like... And they have no creatures on board. 
like the minus the minus one minus one is the most impressive part of it. So. Spire Bluff Canal. Well, that's not exciting. God, is, isn't that the second time we just hit two lands off way of the stage? It, it is, yeah. I think two out of the three times we've cast that. Unless we've only cast it twice, and both times we hit two lands. So, um, I think we just make a guy, even though it's less efficient now, but it's still fine. And we'll play PNLR. Sure. I like that. Because next time we get a free lander, we can time twister. I mean, ideally, we just draw Leovold. Yeah, where the hell is Leovold, guys? I just want to go leave old time twister. That's really all I want to do. Like if they hit balance, it's whatever. No, it sucks. But we get to keep Xenagos, so and Xenagos and Lenjite, so I think that's actually fine. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, oh again, they had this place. suspended man. Yeah, we keep missing that. Well, I mean, I noticed it, but you keep missing it. Okay, take it easy. Foth is a uh, is alternative universe doing twenty dollar. Uh, Horizon drafts because that's pretty good. Twenty bucks at your shop seems real good. Does it set how much value? Oh, right, every every shop. mythic is like thirty bucks. Yes, every mythic is like go to just go to go to coolstuffinc.com and check out all the mythics and rares from the set and, and evaluate for yourself. If you use promo and code Frank there, Five, promo code Frank Five and get uh, five dollars off your that's not pizza. <laughs> yeah, you can get free five dollars off your pizza. Use promo code Frank Five and get free delivery. On your pizza. All right, we're just going to attack all out here. And maybe that kills yeah. them. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know, but I don't care anymore. Is this lethal? Wait, what was their last card? Did they Our... just play a land? Yeah, I think so. Okay, then we just... Yeah, we just win the game. Yay. Good, the games. Do we want to change anything? I don't think so. Um. Well, do we want to... I don't think the guys... No, I don't think in general that's better. Yeah, no. I like how it is. I think it's fine. I think it's great. Man, team or mid-range decks are my jam. that vibration i'm hearing those frank vibrations they're Eric. coming from his brain baby his brain he baby is hallucinating they're coming from my brain baby my my roommate just texted me and asked if i'm having a mental breakdown in there uh well are you well are you we have very, we have very thin wall oh snap keep i mean it's definitely a snap keep i'm just curious what we're doing is just turn one Pia? Is that good? I don't know if it's great, but it's four power on turn one. I mean, that feels broken, right? And then we can light up the stage the next turn. Yeah, that seems real good, actually. Yeah, let's just do it. Because it's, it's also three bodies, so like it dodges spot removal pretty well. Unless they go or we can up. we can also play Pyromancer on turn two and light up the stage on three. That seems better. Yeah, I like that, too. Oh, we can also, uh, what's going on? Pay one? Sure, I'll pay with this. We can metamorph RP and Kieran LR. That seems good, right? No, that seems bad. They're legendary. And I have he's... a call coming up at 3.30. $35 stiff of Elk Deers can cover the call for me in Gilbert Godfrey's voice. I'll just tell them I have a call. Yes, hello! <laughs> okay, buddy, leave it to the pros. Okay, um, that's good. I, uh, I'm fine with that, as long as I get a piece of that $35. I mean, you can have you can have, but we can do we can do twenty five ten. You can have twenty five if you want to do the call. Very fine. Somebody just send me sushi and we'll be good. That's actually a good deal. Uh, a new, sushi in New York though might be a little more than uh, might be a little more than twenty five. Have it delivered, right? Man, how's this guy gonna deal? How's Mister Blue White over here gonna deal? He did suspend ancestral visions. Oh wow! Really? Did you know? Oh whoa! That's aggressive. That's really aggressive. All right, we have everything. I think we just get a swamp here, to be quite honest. Do we? Yeah, that's the only color we don't have, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it lets us play Leobold. We have double color. red for Glorybringer. I'm perfectly fine with that.
Oh, confirmed we're playing LSV. No, this is actually Doug Tice. Ironically enough, Doug Tice is a person I was on a versus team with like oh, really? 15 years ago. Uh, when versus system, the, the Marvel card game by uh, Upper Deck, maybe, was big. Uh -huh. We could actually Frexy Metamorph to get our sword, which is kind of neat. It is kind of neat. That is kind of neat. Hey, that's neat. What are you doing? Yeah, don't attack with Pyromancer. I'm not. I was just clicking things. Don't even... Don't scare your grandma like that. My blood pressure. <laughs> oh, goodness. Great. Oh, we're going to hit two lands again. You ready? Yes. Oh, a Xenagos? Oh, biscuits. Whatever. We can play oh, the land next turn. next turn. Do we cast anything? We don't cast anything here, right? What do you mean? Like, we don't I cast Metamorph, I... and we don't... No, because then Twister. we're going to... Well... Yeah, that seems bad. I, I can see an argument for Metamorph to get our sword. I can, too, especially because we'd have five next turn. Too late now. Would you pick an off-color Mox pack three over a library? No, not even a chance. I wouldn't pick a Mox over a library in pack one. Moxes are fantastic, really? but library library wins you insane games. Hmm. That's fair. I, I do value library a lot. I feel like you haven't seen library like once in any of your drafts. Oh, did they miss a land drop? I believe they did, my friend. I believe they did. We could also add oh, four God. mana and play Glorybringer and kill the Stoneforge. Oh, let's do that. I'm a big fan of that. I mean, they're going to put a sword into play, but who cares? This is fun. I'm having it. We're all having a good time here. Oh, we just win the game. Yay! Yay! I have a library of Alexander or Lotus. I would probably say Lotus pack one, pick one. I think Lotus is more explosive. Library is more consistent over time. But also library, there's a there's a there's diminishing returns on library with when you can actually get it into play and do we just play Geist again against this blue white control deck? Are they blue white control? Everything snap resolved. All we saw was a path to exile and they're also playing Stoneforge Mystic. Uh I don't know. I wouldn't bring Geist in just yet. But hey, you know, you do you, man. It's hey, man, Frank's this is world. this is our draft, buddy. If it, I I I don't think it was necessary to bring in. Okay. I think we're fine like this, right? I forgot we had pyroclasm. <laughs> do you think about that a lot? <laughs> Sometimes uh, that last game, I was like, "Do we have pyroclasm?" I can't remember. It is a beautiful day at NYC. I went running this morning. Really? Yeah, I've been trying to. I've been trying to get back into running. Interesting. I can't see you as a runner just because I know I'm familiar with your daily attire, and I can't see you in like more more running esque attire. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I like this hand. Yeah, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Because I can see you in like the black jeans and the boots and like uh, you know, like a. Like you can't a, see me in workout clothing. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't see me in my Lululemon tracksuit. <laughs> as that's, as badly as you want to see that, you can't see. Correct. Me in it is. Yeah, it is outside of my realm of of visualizing, which is really unfortunate for me, to be quite honest. What do they got? What do they got? Probably Sword of Body and Mind again. Or uh, Fire oh, and Ice, rather. Familiar. I'll play a Batter Skull, you see. Oh, it's always Sword of Fire and Ice. Ooh, it's gotta be it's gotta be Pyromancer, right? Well, actually, we can go Druid into Flame Tongue Kavu next turn. That seems good. Um, and we don't lose any... Unless we're... like, I, I feel like we can just play this the turn we're gonna make a guy off of it, and it's just as sure. good. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I like that, too. Whereas Kavu killing this guy, and then just, like, yeah, you sold me. 
Frank images Elk Tears naked. <laughs> I image you. Hey, bro. Hey, Frank, I image you 3,000. I know. I oh, say hello. The ready, the ready mom spaghetti. <laughs> Who wants to make some one ones that can't do anything? Uh, they can kill their sword of fire and ice, which is pretty relevant, right? Wait, that can, that can kill an artifact? I thought it can only kill creatures. Yeah, if you do, destroy an artifact or a creature. Yeah, the ready is real strong, oh. dude. Wow. That Doretti is so much better than I thought it was. That's because of all his mom's spaghetti. Do you remember the the, the Guilds of Ravnica Mythic Edition draft that we did that uh, you were spectating on? And yeah. And everyone opened super valuable Planeswalkers, but I opened Doretti. Yeah, you had the worst one. But then I ended up 3 0 with it because it actually is a really insane Planeswalker. Was it this Doretti? It was that Doretti, yeah. So it's funny because you're like, he's actually a really insane Planeswalker, and you don't even know his full abilities. Well, you yeah, won. he's a really insane plane. Well, I forgot that he could kill an artifact. Right, in, in, in Limited, in like Ravnica in, Limited, in it's much less Ravnica relevant. Ravnica Limited draft, he's pretty insane. Oh boy, what are we doing here? Oh boy. Um, I think you want to get this Doretti down, right? Doretti's nice because it also lets us block any of their, uh, their yeah. nonsense. Yeah, it, it can protect itself. It can also attack so and it can protect. going to have to block because then... If the ideas are trying to kill the sword with it, with one of them. Well, that's fine. We have time. But there was time now. <laughs> that's a classic. We can also just actually attack with Kavu if they block. We can chain lightning this. Or we can blood Bloodbraid Elf and attack with both. But I really don't want them to... Do they just take seven here? Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm nervous about the Bloodbraid Elf with time twister in the deck. Yeah, Isn't I guess we can, just, we can just play safe. No, we can do it safe. It's fine. All right. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That was I'll, a good turn. I don't think we can attack here, so. No. I don't think so either. Um, okay. Yep, equip that dude. You got it. I mean, also if they attack, like that's they leaves themselves real open. So we're probably just gonna have a defender to destroy this sword next turn anyway. So, oh wow, that's aggressive. What? Them attacking when they have one land up? Yeah, we're chump blocking this for sure. Oh, that does seem very aggressive. Because now we get to play Bloodbraid and make another blocker. Like that's real. <laughs> we would have literally hit the time twist. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, man. Woo! Dodge that bullet. Yeah, I like this a lot. To oh, sure. It's going to be too Oh, lands. wow. That's cool. Oh, and that triggers that? Oh, my God. Everybody wins. Oh, and we get to, we get to play Ponder this turn? That's pretty good. Ugh. This is an embarrassment. Embarrassment of riches on this side of the table. Don't have any artifacts. We're just gonna play this guy. One, two, three. Yeah, it's like, why do you even need to kill the sword when we just have infinite chump blockers? Yeah, and I want to keep incubation druid up just in case, like, they do get rid of like a construct for a turn, then we can actually block with incubation druid. No, that's smart. I like that. Oh, and we get to make another guy with young pyromancer. Good lord, Artemis. Our deck. Forget about it. Forget about um, it. This actually seems very good. Does I think it? we just yeah we just keep riffling Cloudscape. They have three lands and a sword. Like oh, oh we can true. also sacrifice like the Mox Emerald to Doretti. So oh there you go there you go. No shuffs. Yeah, this seems really good. C and quote. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Swanny boy. Thank you so much for the resub. God, I wish I could see your face. <laughs> That's romantic AF, my man. Hey, someone just got a 25% off coupon to the container store. <laughs> That's actually that's actually hilarious that you saw that. <laughs> yeah, there's like the the Microsoft email notification comes down up comes up down here, so Wow, they're attacking again? Yeah, oh, I don't God. understand they it either. Have wrath? Jeez, I'm a little nervous they have wrath. I don't, I don't think that even... Like, we have a... I think we're fine. even. With, but they don't, have a, they don't have fourth land. Oh, just the time walk. Sure. 
And this is why we keep incubation druid up. Yeah. Oh, but well, not anymore, I guess. Oh. Uh, well, it's not like we even killed already. What do we put on top? We put a Riftwing Cloudskate. I think we're just going to keep that. I don't think yeah, we're we don't search. really need a, a land here, right? No, not at all. Because we have a land we can play next turn from... Uh, yeah, so we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mana. So next time we can actually Chain Lightning and Riffling Cloudscape, which is five damage. Well, I guess he doesn't attack on his own. But we're only losing one guy, so we're probably losing the four, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Unless they want to attack to ready. <coughs> we also misplayed last turn. Like, we should have waited to use the ready until we drew off of Lightning, uh, Light the Stage, because then we could have actually killed the sword. Right That's now we're true. giving them a free hit. When you're right, you're right. And you, you're always right. Well, well they, I would say always. They don't care about the Duretti, so. They went for face. Yep, flame. and they killed Flame Tongue. One, two, three, four, five. They still have seven power on board plus Chain Lightning, so. Yeah, I feel okay about it. I'm not too concerned. think they're going to do with their three mana, though. Nothing to threaten me with, with all three of your mana. <laughs> Show and tell. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hey, nobody care about that. She's an artifact. I'm just going to say no. Frost uh -oh. Titan? Sure. Uh-oh. I have Duretti. Uh-oh. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You have to shut up now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we can just play. Uh, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be insane. This turn's gonna be nutso in the butt. So this is gonna be a bloodbath. It's gonna be a bloodbath. Yes. Oh, this is a massacre. Oh, I feel bad for her opponent. No, not this, me. This would be the part in the game if I was playing a paper game where I just would be like, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Jithay seems good. That's that a good is one. good. That is good. I mean, I'm just going to block. Eh, we don't block, actually. So if I block, they get to kill either two elementals or blood braid. I think we just block. Yeah, we're just blocking. Yeah. If they kill this and this, we still have four power plus chain lightning on board. So. Right. Or we can just chain lightning their creatures so they have nothing to we're threaten. We're drawing a with. land next turn, right? Memory service. We are drawing a, uh, yeah. We could also time twister here. Oof, that feels a little risky. What do I do? Do we want to chain lightning their face or the the spirit? Oh, we're just gonna attack them. We're just gonna alpha them because they're probably gonna block a one one here, and then okay. maybe they die, or they block but... here and neg it, which is actually worse, right? Well, they can also gain life, right? And it's the jet. God, Jute is such a ridiculous magic card. Well, hopefully we'll be able to kill it soon with Derevi. God, I had no idea Derevi can get artifacts. That makes that card so much better. It's insane in Vintage Cube, yeah. I had an opponent who just, like, got Derevi act. Did they not block? Oh, you're... Oh, you go to four. They block at all. Interesting. They're going to three. Third virtual four. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to kill the spirit then. Yeah, I think so. You don't want them to get another, uh, some more counters on that bad boy. Play this. I'm a real tempted to time twister here, but I don't want to do it now because then they get the first crack at things. Unless we're going to top tech Weevil. Ooh, that would be such gas. Can you imagine? <laughs> Did say, Leable Time Twister is just basically mind-twisting them. Hey, we won. 
Uh, if we lightning to the face, they gain two and they go to one and that does nothing. And then they just get to equip Jitte and kill us next turn. Oh, sword would have been nice. All right, we're 2-0 with this deck. I'm okay with it so far. Hey, look at that. I'm looking at it. And you were all like... No, I wasn't. I was never like that. Like, you were. You were all like... That never happened. I was, I was, I was picking cards and you were all like, Jesus yeah, because the cards you picked are in our sideboard. Here's Desperate Ritual, Yawgmoth's Bargain. Here's Blade Splicer. Here's... What else you got? I, I picked this through the Breach, and I regrettably couldn't play it, but not for lack of trying, my friend. Is Do we keep this hand? Any blue or red is very, very good. This feels like one of those risky Frank hands. But we're on the draw, too. We're on the draw? Okay, yeah. I think we can keep it on the draw. Like, we need one land, if it's a red or a blue land, within I mean, the next three do, turns. I we do have, way. like, the combo in hand. I want oh, I didn't even... Oh, yes. Can you imagine if we draw Blue Source next turn and then we just get to go a turn two Edric into Time Twister? Oh, I don't want to imagine it. My nipples are hard enough for <laughs> uh, My nipples are hard for your nipples, my friend. <laughs> That's nipple solidarity, just so you know. Oh, uh, what is this, a mono red deck? Go home. Oh, that's not it yet. Get out of, get out of my face. Get out of his face, figure of destiny. Get out of my life with this... Get out of my life. It's always, it's always so lame. You're just having you're having a fun vintage cube draft, and you get to the finals and on a red. Deck. Well, our opponent's name is Black Lettuce, so I can't imagine. Oh, well, they said good luck, have fun. I'm gonna say you too. Oh, it's not mono red. We we were we doing good. Oh, that's oh, not the right good. one. Actually, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We just play Young Peasy. Yeah, but we can't play Wave Old next turn. Oh, well, I guess we next can. turn we can. We just need a we just need a blue man, a yeah. blue man. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. Demonetize. This isn't the real for like the dude with the awesome hair. <laughs> oh man. Wait, who said that? No, my opponent. This isn't the real Frank Lepore's, is it? Like the dude with the awesome hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm like, trust me, buddy. No one's impersonating me. Is Elf Tears on a train or something? I'm really wondering about all these tunnels. Hang on, I'm going under another t I'll answer that question after the tunnel. Okay, I'm out of the tunnel. No, I'm not on a train. Wow, this guy's really putting a lot of... A lot of work, a lot of value into this. Ugh. Ugh. Terrible. I mean, we still have plays. I'm fine with it. We just play Sword and Body. Sword of Body and Mind, and then we just attack for two. Sort of pump it up. Yeah, sort of, sort of pump it up. Sort of, uh, sort of uh, Sylvester Stallone's pump it up. <laughs> What's the actual name? Push it to the limit. No, to the limit. The name, Is it just uh, to the, the limit? Song from Scarface. <laughs> that is oh. the name of the song from Scarface. Oh, it's uh, over the top. Over the top. Man, so it's not to the limit. It's not pump it up. God, I wish we had a single, like, hard removal spell for this uh, hero. We're just investing so much into it. Okay, we got a Karn. We're Karning it up. I don't care about that. We did it. We're living the dream. Okay. Question is, are we dead? No, does not that, really. Like, we could just jump block something. Doesn't it, doesn't it get flying at some point? Yeah, you have to add six mana to, to make this guy an eight eight flyer. Okay. We can we'll riff wing cloudscape way before that happens. All right. You like Leovold here? I mean, I'll just chump block with young pyromancer if it comes down to it. I like Leovold. If we get another island, we get opposition. We just tap it down forever. We can tap anything about, down. What do you think of uh, how crazy Narsa is in, in every format now? I'm actually, I'm actually, oh no, oh no. I'm actually more offended by, te by, by Teferi, by the three mana Teferi. I think that card is just unbelievable. That card is insane, right? It's just like, I just, I just, every time I've been watching people play, it's like, yeah. let me cast Wrath of God at instant speed. Let me yeah. cast, like, 
that's just bonkers. And then you just can't do anything. You can't respond. To it's it. not even. It's not even being able to cast the things in instant speed. It's also just like the fact that like once they pass the turn, you can't interact with your opponent in any meaningful way. Yeah, you have to have you have to have main phase removal for it. Did you give him the plants? Yes. I would have given him the plants. That was correct. Thank you. I'm just going to four here. I guess so. I mean, I don't think but this they, is... can't, they have six mana now because of Chandra. Keep yeah. That in mind. And we can just kill the Chandra. Or we could play uh, Riftwing. Yeah, we can Riftwing, bounce the token, kill Chandra. Well, oh. Okay, sure. I was thinking bounce hero. Hero? You mean figure? Or figure. But then we can't kill the Chandra, and the Chandra's going to deal us two damage a turn is the problem. We're at four. Uh, that's true, that's true, that's true. Okay. I mean, we can just chump block figure. I don't think that's a problem. That's true, that's but, true. But hey, we're, we I are trust. dead to figure if they kill us, you know what I mean? One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, Frank. Yeah, buddy. I know you're going to... Take the wheel. I trust you. I appreciate that. If we had a second red, we can glory Man, we're so close to this, this leave old time twister here. I know, that sucks. That hurt me. I'm just trying to push it to the limit here, you know? Push it to the limit. Well, here we go. If they have a removal spell for for, for Roof and Cloudscape, they're... oh, wait. They just negative Karn to get re to get the lightning strike and then kill Karn, or kill uh, Roof Wing. So we're just basically down the board. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing else we could do that turn. They didn't. They just stole our guy. That's another way to kill us. That's good to know they have that. Yeah. That's that was them know. playing that loosely. There's no reason to show us that. They said if this is being streamed and going on YouTube, I fairly imminently pee myself. <laughs> you should just message him, get some paper towels. You better... <laughs> there's going to be a cleanup on aisle one, buddy. <laughs> um... I don't know. I think we're fine. Terminate could be decent, maybe. Oh, is this a call-in show now? Yeah, I think we want Terminate against them. Hi, long-time yeah. viewer, first-time caller. I'd like to talk about the, want... the opponent that's imminently going to pee themselves, you see. Do we want Pyroclasm? I, the only creature we saw that, we, that cares about Pyroclasm was Figure of Destiny, and that's limited at that. Sure. Okay. I probably want to cut one of these. We haven't seen or utilized opposition once this whole this whole stream. Thank you. I feel like most of our games we've kind of been like having a stabilize, and then we're just like way over the top. Once have we it, we're having a stay. I'm having a stabilize here, guys. This is a hashtag stabilization stream. What are we cutting? We need one cut. Mon Preda, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Do we have time for like let, let's think about playing to win here? Do we have time for Lee of Old Time against the deck? But I don't think either of the... I don't know if we have time for Time Twister specifically, but I think that would have been sick if we just... Like, if we hit our lands last game, it would have been man fantastic. All right. Is Mike or Mike plus plus with you today? <laughs> That's fantastic. I I don't know. What, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Maybe Control I just, Magic? When I, when I see turn one... Uh figure of destiny like i know he was playing some other like more like bigger red cards after that but i feel like if he has figure of destiny he must have like it must be like a goblin guide eidolon type deck too what no i don't think that's true because okay, they had okay. they had two four mana planeswalkers and a zealous conscript so I'm, I'm i don't feel like they're a super aggressive deck i feel like they're going on the big end okay i'm gonna Let's take out the control it. magic sure Unless they make their kitchen, their uh, figure of destiny an eight eight, and then we just steal it before they attack with it. I don't think that's a thing. Do we cut opposition then? Maybe. Uh, too I, late. I still want to live the opposition dream. Look, it's right here. Here's the dream. All right. Oh, Unfortunately, this, like this hand, hand is not. You said it seems like a poop hand. A little bit. I mean, yeah, I have, agree. We don't have blue. We don't have. There's just not much we can do. Oh, this here. hand. This hand's good though. Yeah, I like this hand. Oh, into, into chicken? I'll put the chicken on the top. Yeah, that's a turn three chicken. <laughs> that's right, buddy. <laughs> hey, y'all, who ordered the turn three chicken? Did y'all order turn three chicken delivered? Uh, y'all got any iced tea? 
Oh my god. Oh god. God, this figure of destiny every game. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Do I just get in there? Yeah, why not? What are you gonna Yolo. do? Block? Go for it. Block it. I dare you. Yolo. I dare you to block. I dare you. Because home, yellow means you only live once. They didn't block. They said, no, I'm good. YOLO is what the kids are saying, right? I've heard my I heard my grandkids say that recently. Oh, the grandkids with the YOLOs. Okay, that's enough lands. And the FOMOs. The beautiful thing about Rekindling Phoenix is that it survives lightning strike. It survives everything. Look at all those chickens. I would love uh, not a land next turn. Unless that land is black mana. Is Elk Tears hating Zuzern Europe and Russia? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. It's, <laughs> that's just as scary. Oh, we got another land. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Welcome to the Frank Lepore show, everyone. Well, see, now you get to see it live in real time. I know. Did he just say retingling, Phoenix? Probably. You Sometimes you got to tingle, and then you tingle again. Two tingles, guys. Oh. Russian are spelling S and like the Z and it's pretty funny. Someone's having a stroke in the chat. Elk Tears hates European, confirmed. Everybody knew that. I'm a two tingle kind of guy. <laughs> Spencer, I feel like you've gotten much funnier since I left Seattle. What is in our opponent's hand? Bunch of trash. Elk Tears is a narc, that's true. I am not. You totally just narked. Come on. Don't Are you kidding lie. me? I'm the narc. I'm, I'm the narc crusher. I'm like the blade of narcs. I'm I'm D daywalker. This is unexciting, but it does let us cast this, I guess. Oh, actually, we can go Lotus into Duretti, sack the Mox Emerald to kill the figure of destiny. Yeah, there we go. Now butter we're talking. I like that, buddy. I will butter your biscuits. That's just southern hospitality. They're basically dead to this chicken. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful chick. I wish these artifacts and planes. Well, I wish this guy just had prowess. I wish, yeah, I wish he had the spell gorger or the Sahili clause instead of the instant sorcery clause. I wish he was. A little... I love how they made a, an older version of Young Pyromancer in Modern Horizons. It's just so fun, flavor wise. He's like, I, the power is real, and both of them were sacrificed for Doretti. <laughs> Doretti just ate so much money. Basically, we just turned two pieces of power into into a into, blade. into one removal spell for a figure of yeah. destiny. This is where they go hour of devastation. The sad part is if we draw Leovold now. Did you say Hour of Devastation? Okay, well then I'll get this guy back, right? Yeah, and then and then they go uh, Path to Exile. Wow, and they, they, go have... they go Mox Pearl. Okay. Hour of <laughs> there you go, there you go. Now your now your fiction is is becoming a fact. Blade is ham vampire, so that means you're half narc elk tears. Fair point. What? Lightning strike. The, uh oh. They are going to two for. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Here we and go. Here, and now, now they go Black Lotus Hour of Devastation. <laughs> oh, Mox Mox Hour of Devastation. Oh, balance. <laughs> Fascinating. So you have to discard three cards and a land? Wow. That seems really I mean, bad. we lose these two, but that still seems we'll okay. Yeah, but they have to discard all but one card. That's true, and we we have an active Doretti. Oh, they had a wildfire. 
and a wear tear and a burn. Well, they had wildfire and burning of Zinni in hand. It's a wildfire. I feel like they just waited a little bit. Those, those could... Oh, that's good. That was a good draw. That's probably one of the best draws we could have gotten. And a Leovold. One time. No time twister. No time twister. Why do you say things? Why do you talk? <laughs> it's got to be no, right? We have to hard decline this, right? Yeah, no. No. We we, we literally... They have one card in hand. We have a 3-2 with haste and a planeswalker. We don't want to give them seven cards. Why did you have to... You know how the stream works. If you say it, you will it into well, existence. I mean, listen, I don't think it's that... Like, I think there's only like... Th two three drops in our deck other than Doretti, right? Right, but you, there's also two drops and one drops. We could have hit Chain Lightning, Ponder, Manamorphose, Incubation Druid, Leovold. Like, with those six alone, you're only at, like, 17% to hit. Okay, I'm sorry I said time twist. Okay, I'm not really mad. I don't you to, Whenever you I'm apologize, I feel bad. Like, I'm like... Here, okay. Frank, yeah. I'm holding my They're going to the one players. with the char? This is amazing. I don't know what you're saying right now. He's very dubious. I'm just going to keep playing lands. Like, I have no reason to hold lands. Yeah, it's not like we have uh, Honor the God Pharaoh on the deck. <laughs> oh, wow, they got the Wasteland. They're going to get rid of this Taiga? That's rough. Aggressive, oh, but rough. And watch this draw Incubation Druid. Here comes Xenagos. I don't want to copy anything. <laughs> I don't want to copy anything. I mean, they'll have to play something, right? They're at one. Yeah, these defenders are going to do something for us eventually. Can we keep this fun train rolling? Sure. Yeah, we could do another one after this. I don't know. Yeah. What, how, much, how much time you got today? You got all day? I got, I, got, I got time to do another one. Man. Oh, look at this. This I, is a good I, one. I, I might... Oh, I like Ponder. I might have to take a break, you know, walk around, move my feet around. I'm actually going to... Yeah, I was going to do the same thing after this. Um, I don't think I want any of these. Like, Manamorphos is just going to draw one of these two, and I don't actually care. I'm just going to shuffle. How do you feel about that? You yeah, that's it. fine. Oh, I that's... mean, it feels pretty bad to play a... Oh, there we go. Look at all these defenders. So, like, no matter what they play, this guy's at six, and we have four artifacts. So, like, we can just kill anything they play here. What does the emblem do on that again? Nothing, right? Uh, no, it's not an emblem. It's choose an artifact oh. in a graveyard or an artifact right. on the battlefield, and you just create three copies of it. So we Got can make it. three lotuses. Or we can make three more uh, one ones with defender. Yes, that is true as well. Uh, we can actually copy Riffling Cloudscape, then make three more Riffling Cloudscapes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that next turn. What are they drawing? Are they just drawing like five drops? Oh, we still have chain lightning in the deck, right? God, why couldn't we hit that off of Blood Braid? Yeah, because that would have because you said time twister, that's why. Well, to be fair, I said please no time twister. It doesn't matter as long as you mention it. That then it then it manifests itself into the real world. Hey, we got Green Man again. What does he say? Those Nublars? I don't know what's going on right now. Hey, what if we draw opposition? That'd be pretty fun. I mean, I'd rather just win the game. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll just bounce your planes, Arena. I mean, this guy's probably dead. They have three cards in hand. Yeah, I mean, also, I have a feeling they're just drawing five drops. Yeah, that was a that was a theory that I had as well. So I think bouncing the planes is a pretty tight play. Is that John Locks? Wow, that's a really random. Oh man, if we had a second red up. Oh no! God, so close every time. Xenagos. Oh, Durain's turn with one, one green, huh? Is there any artifact we can copy in the graveyard? No, not really anything exciting. God, is this guy's an A. Graveyard or is it it's graveyard? Uh, an A graveyard or artifact on the battlefield. I see. And this guy would be good if they go like if they go any creature, we just go metamorph copy it three times. That seems insane. Yeah. We've seen opposition. We just haven't played opposition. Oh. Wait. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. That's got a oh. game, right? 
Yeah. Like they can't deal with all these all these jabronis, right? Oh man, can you imagine if we if we had one more mana, we can go deranged hermit, metamorph the deranged hermit. That'd be pretty hilarious. <laughs> and then and then Dereni the deranged hermit, so we have five deranged hermits. Oh my god. <laughs> That would be such an... Okay, well... That... Yeah. I wonder... This set definitely isn't playing Wraths, right? There's no way this... Well, they have Double play. Wildfire. Oh, that's true. I mean, they're, they're, they seem like a more of a, a... They have balanced Double Wildfire. That's like... This is totally like a red, a red-white controllish deck. Okay. Just do it next turn. Hope he doesn't have an hour of... Double incinerate our face uh that's terrifying yeah lightning bolt our face oh my god come on oh my god what the hell is happening here not like this no no i think they're just reaching i don't think they actually have it because they can't like there's this. no way they can deal oh god not like this that's fine Okay. They take the Duretti. Oh my god, what if they take our Duretti? They make three Black Lotuses, and then they just cast the last card in their hand. Oh god. This is actually terrifying. <laughs> oh god. No! Is this like Sun Titan? What's even happening right now? Oh my god, I'm so scared. I can't handle this. Okay, that's fine. Okay. This is fine. Okay. They're still dead. Oh, they have no cards in hand. All right, we're good. We're yeah, good. they have no cards in hand. Oh, man, I was terrified for a second, though. I was horrified. I was like, not like this. This is amazing. I thought, like, what if their last card is, like, Rakdos' return or something? What if the last, yeah, are, like, Banefire, and they're like, all right, I'll yeah. make 15 mana, kill you. Oh, my God. Dying to our own Duretti. Because be they tapped out, so the three Lotuses would be nine mana exactly, so it would be literally exactly Banefire. Holy crap. We pay for this. We have to exile our face. Yeah, this is yeah, just why not body. just pay for it. Yeah. Flavor one. Now we get a Zona Ghost. I think they conceded because it's like it skipped for a second. Yep. All right. Cool. He said. He said. Curse word. Omg. Like I think. I think because he didn't attack with this, but I don't think that does anything. So. Yeah. What? Yeah. Attacking wouldn't have done anything. Right, so I don't know what the uh, yeah, so so yeah, Pyroclasm would have been pretty rough this match. I think he was just being cute because he made three black lotuses. That's oh yeah, I, I mean that's that's a hell of a. Th this is my first time having three black lotuses. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what the curse word is. It's not him making a mistake; it's him just getting overlaid. <clears throat> uh, all right. So, do we bring anything in here? Guys, the same draft seems pretty okay. I'm really actually kind of afraid of this this double wildfire burning of Zinni nonsense. I am too, and Geist of St. Trath isn't really good against that. Um, but they don't really seem like they have a lot of ways to deal with the Geist of St. Trath. They have a lot of burn. And, well, they have, like, they, they have, can't... They have balance and double wildfire. Sure, but the wildfires doesn't do anything until turn six. If we can get, like, a turn two or three Geist down, it's pretty good. I'm gonna bring right, well, in. what are we cutting? What did we cut last time? Uh, last time, this ter Terminate seems pretty bad, right? No, it kills the hero that we almost keep dying to. The hero? Or the, the figure. figure of death. Hero, figure, whatever. Hmm. Um. Flame Tongue Tabu? I like Flame Tongue better like, than Terminate. I like Flame Tongue Tabu. You like it better than Terminate? Hey, if you want to cut Terminate, because you're probably going to have to take the Swamp out, right? Right, that's what I mean. That's what I like Terminate. Yeah, do it. Get, get it out of there. And then we can add a, a Planes. Because they do have Path, too, so it's going to be nice to get a Planes if we need it. All right, let's do it. Last round, and then we 3-0 or 2-1. Or Legion's Landing for the life. I don't, mean, I don't know if the 1-1 one, one on Legion's Landing is really going <laughs> to make or break. Oh, look. Oh, look. We're doing it. I'm keeping this hand for sure. You're keeping it? Yeah, we're going to okay. top deck. We're going to top deck Lotus. We're going to play Pyromancer, Geist of St. Traft on turn one. Oh, look at Get a little Library of Alexandria. 
Oh, I don't like that at all. If we get a Mox or a Lotus, we're still good. We're still live AF, my dude. All right. It's okay. We're doing it. Not like this. Oh, wow. Not to the library. <laughs> Come on. Not to the wasteland. Oh, God. <sighs> That's vomitous. That's annoying. That makes me want to throw up. Confirmed OP is not a fan. OP is a jerk. Well, that ruins our whole plan because this was really versatile for us. Okay, well. Back oh, in business. We're there. <laughs> Come on, we're red mana. Prayer. Actually, I mean, like, Lotus anyway. is still great. Lotus for red is still Geist of St. Trap Pyromancer. Yeah. 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 Meh. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, we're doing it. Yay. Suck, suck on those eggs, Wasteland. Suck on my Wasteland eggs. I'm not comfortable with how that turned out. Me neither. I have to step out of the room for a second. Um, okay. Just now we just need to not die to the wildfire of this li library. This library is backbreaking. That is such a good card. It's Please. a real good card. You can see why that's stronger than like a Lotus, which provides you with one quick boot. Well, maybe not Lotus, but like not not a Mox, Lotus, but a, a Mox but a, per se, which is yeah, a Mox. You know, the one mana boost every turn is not the same as having one extra card every turn. Yeah. Oh wow, we can equip Jitte. That is that's actually pretty busted. Unless they're gonna balance here, but they didn't. They added blue green, so. Metamorph the Geist. Yeah, that's good. Throw it in the garbage can. Well, you still get to keep the angel. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> you know it's not an Enter the Battles field questions. I mean, uh, trigger. Why does it... <laughs> okay, take it easy. <laughs> Why don't you sit the next couple rounds out, champ? Okay. You, you, you... What's going oh, wow. on? I'm scared. What is he doing? Did they just... Is he just charring our face? Oh, no, they're just balancing so that they wanted to go uh, down as few. I, I guess... God, I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, they sack a land and lose a creature. And a, or a card, rather. Library. Damn it, they didn't. Well, they're going to have to go down another card, so they actually probably should have sacked Library because they're going to go to five cards, which is actually not a ton. It's going to take them a while to get back to Library range after this. Give me a green mana. Well, we could play Pyromancer and set up into Light at the Stage after. Yeah, sure. Well, next turn, yeah. We could also just take two and equip the Pyromancer, which I think is probably pretty good here. Oh yeah, I, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm saying we do that. I'm I saying like we that. do it. Oh, you know what we can do next turn. We can that. we can Metamorph Pyromancer and then cast Light at the Stage. Ooh, that's God, interesting. Now, now we're playing Vintage. That did feel super loose. I mean, getting rid of Geist the Saint Trap when we have a Jitte out is seems seems relevant. I mean, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I mean, it's just like it's pretty hilarious that they had to have the balance there. Oh, it's Monastery Swift Spear. That's what is this deck? Yeah, this is an interesting addition, right? Like you were like, oh, it's a red light control deck. I'm just like they're playing the char they're playing lightning strike, they're playing char, and they're playing swift spear. And then they're well, those are also control balance. cards as well, right? Like, I mean, you're going to control the board. Oh, wow, that's brutal. Oh, that's annoying. If we get a land, we can glorybringer, which is pretty nuts. They're probably just going to kill this young pyromancer, though. Yep. Actually, if we get a land here, it's actually insane because then we can glorybringer and it's a Leobold. I'm real tempted to just metamorph this and then kill the uh, the Johnny. I th I think we do honestly because that Johnny could like run away with the game, right? Doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, I, it doesn't feel good, but it does. No, it doesn't. We're wasting a metamorph, but they only have three cards in hand. Our hand is full of gas. I think like the Johnny just like locking us down on a land every turn is going to be backbreaking. And if they attack, if they, it also lets us trigger light at the stage next turn, which is nice. Yeah, there you go. Any green or red land would have been great, though. Being able we could throw Jin on the next turn, too. I have a regular party, you know? It's just a regular party. Worst case scenario, we could just uh, 
non-hard cast lay at the stage, give the Swift Spear a trigger. <clears throat> I mean, I, I... We're also not super overextended in case they have, like, a wildfire or something. Oh, wow, that's... What if they just take Monastery Swift Spear and attack for one extra point? That's interesting. I mean, our life toll is getting pretty pressured right now. Yeah, we have Jitte. Give us a land so we can glory bring her and kill the... Kill the three Zealous three. Conscripts? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, wow, they are really getting aggressive here. Oh, wow, they didn't play that pre-combat? We would have been dead, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they killed the Metamorph. They killed the Metamorph. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, man, what in the earth, dude? Come on. Ah! <laughs> Like, it's not even a matter of, like, not hitting... It's not even a matter of colors here. It's just a matter of, like, it's land. lands was... in general. It's turn seven. We've hit four lands. Like... I think... I, uh, yeah. I think we just lay up the stage. We have no choice. Yeah. That's really annoying. <laughs> well, actually, if we hit a black mana, we can go Tiger. We can go Leovold... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Leovold Time Twister. Okay. We just need to not die to... Uh... Their four power on the board. I mean, they have lightning bolt and they have lightning strike in the deck, so yeah. And incinerate as well. So they have four, literal five ways to deal three Ew! damage. Eh, what are you gonna do? Damn magic it. is magic is a hard game. I want to see what we would have drawn. Damn it, Michael. Okay. <laughs> Incubation druid. That's really sad. God, we just did a fifth land there. Jeez Louise. All right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check us out. At Bye, me. guys. Take these. <laughs> he's, like, he's like a child. Check me out at meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Check out manatraders.com. And you get uh, you can use the promo code and the link in the description to get 20% off along with, <laughs> along with. Man, you're throwing me off my game here. Not even saying hey, anything. Frank, what's that promo code? Uh, the, the, the promo code for... Um, Mana Traders doesn't exist. You actually just use the link and the, uh, the prom. I'm done. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Have a good afternoon, guys. We'll see you next time.